Guys, does anyone want a bulletproof coffee? I saw it online, it's amazing for fat loss. Be shredded on the beach in no time. All it is is coconut oil, butter and coffee. Like you said, it's great for fat loss. Are the healthier food swap options keeping you fat? Or is it the fact that we're unaware of the smaller things that are creeping into our day-to-day -day diets that are preventing us from losing body fat and dropping weight? Let's find out. Now the Bulletproof intro has kind of set us up for a perfect segue into the Bulletproof coffee. Now we see plenty of people placing coconut oils and butters into coffee these days. However, if the calories are unaccounted for, they do stack up. Because at the end of the day when you think about it, you're basically just putting fats into your coffee. So the black Americano on its own is usually around 15 calories. However, that coupled with the 15 grams of coconut oil soon takes it up to around the 150 mark. So if you can imagine you're having two or three bulletproof coffees a day, it soon adds up. Now, it's not just necessarily adding oils and butters to your coffee that's gonna jack things up. For example, a black Americano on its own, like we said before, is simply 15 calories. Then if you look at a cappuccino, we're looking at 150 calories. A latte, 200 calories, and then a mochaccino, 350. So again, we're not saying these things are bad, we're just saying be wary of them because they do add up. So next on the hit list, let's go with a popular one, which is peanut butter. Who doesn't like peanut butter? This one's one tablespoon, this one's two tablespoons. One tablespoon is 15 grams, which works out as 95 calories. However, this one, which is two tablespoons, which is 30 grams, works out as 190 calories. So again, this is one where a small amount can add up. So from nut butters to another popular snacking tool, which is nuts. Literally. So again, another example that you can't really tell by eye. However, here we've got 25 grams, here we've got 50 grams. This one's 140 calories, and this one is 280. So again, this is another one which really does add up. So last up, we've got dried fruits versus fresh fruits. So apricots, 50 grams. From fresh, it's only 18 calories. However, from dried apricots, it's 130. So the takeaway message from today's video is, although something might be a single ingredient food, come across as healthier or not processed, it still contains calories. As long as you're aware of the small things, you'll still make progress. So if you got a lot from today's video, don't miss a trick and subscribe to these channels. And definitely make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel where you'll never miss one of our weekly videos. So see you next week.